Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Lexi and today I am going to do a Diamond Art Club unboxing. This is a painting that I purchased using my rewards points on Diamond Art Club. Um, I'm sure everybody is aware, but if you're not, when you make an account on Diamond Art Club, they have a rewards program where every time you make a purchase, you get a certain amount of points depending on how much you spend and you can save those up and then cash them in to get different types of rewards. They have everything from you can get a free pen to a coupon for free shipping. And if you save up enough, you can get different amounts of money off your order, like $10, $50, $100. And so I just kept saving my points up and then I saved up enough to basically get a uh, free <laughs> painting. Um, and this is what I chose to get. I said that I was not going to order anymore after the Black Friday sale, but I saw this one and it was really beautiful. I wanted to make sure to get it and I had enough points to go ahead and grab it. So I did. Let's take a look here. It is Lady Moth by Sarah Richter and it is round diamonds. The size is 22 inches by 28 inches. In centimeters, that is 55.8 centimeters by 70.6 centimeters. It is just so beautiful. It really spoke to me for many reasons. I have been fascinated with moths and butterflies recently, and so I've been drawn to a lot of different artwork with moths and butterflies. And it also has a lot of beautiful roses in here and I also liked the way her face was drawn just really beautiful so we will open it up and take a look I really um I say this every time <laughs> I get a new diamond painting I want to start working on it right away but I have so many projects right now that this one will go back in the box and wait for a little bit but I really just wanted to open it and get a look um, I should also mention that, of course, I am not affiliated with Diamond Art Club. I just like their diamond art, um, their diamond paintings, and so I buy all of these on my own. They don't send me anything. I'm not affiliated or sponsored. <laughs> I just like their stuff. So, let's take a look in here. Sorry for all the crinkling noises. Here she is. Okay, we've got our toolkit and our canvas. So let's take a look at our sticker here. So pretty. This is such a beautiful piece of art. I'm going to run out of wall space sooner or later to put all of these because every time I buy something, I feel like, oh, I'm going to frame that and put that up. <laughs> <laughs> always have these big plans to frame them and hang them so let's take a, a look at our toolkit before we open the canvas okay <laughs> I love these this little cover reminder is a little chicken popsicle I got one similar to this before but it was a different style it was one that had like a little pink bow in her hair I love this um, I actually have chickens and so I think that's so cute I'm just trying to get the camera to focus maybe there we go cute cute little cover reminder we've got our pen and squishy of course and multi-placer we've got some washi tape Recently, I've just been putting this around the edge of my canvas, you know, to prevent like the golden retriever hair <laughs> from sticking to it in the dust. Um, and I haven't really been sectioning off the canvas with washi tape. I've just been using release paper. But then I see everybody's pictures on Instagram where they're sectioning it off and it looks so cute because then you can still see the picture through the clear, you know, the cellophane on top. And 
so I'm like, oh, maybe I should start sectioning with washi again. <laughs> so, so, okay. And then we've got our wax and tray and some baggies. All right, so let's move this off to the side here. We'll get into the good stuff, our canvas here. I'm using a new microphone today that I ordered off of Amazon and I hope it sounds okay. I was having some trouble just using the onboard mic on my phone. I felt like it wasn't always picking up my voice, especially if I turned away from the camera for something. And so I bought a lapel mic. I'm hoping that it works and it sounds okay. It's not staticky and I also hope it's not blowing out your, <laughs> your eardrums. <laughs> so I'm continuing to work on my setup to make it better and better so that it is enjoyable to watch my videos. <laughs> <laughs> so I just love their canvases it's so soft okay I'll get her turned around the right way here in just a second let's take a look we've got our bigger sticker here it's so pretty so pretty okay so we've got a total of 37 colors in here and it looks like three of these are ABs I always forget to double check the number of ABs before I start <laughs> filming and I apologize, but we'll investigate and we'll find the exact number of ABs. I should also mention, I should not assume that everybody knows what AB means. So AB is Aurora Borealis and it's a special kind of coating that they put on the drills to make them shine a little bit differently. Think of Northern Lights, like that's where the name comes from, Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent sort of metallic-y coating that they put on the drills. And you'll see when I show them that they look different than the other drills. So let me just move this. Let's get her turned around and rolled out properly so we can actually look at it. Look at how beautiful. I'm not going to be able to get this all in one shot, but I will um, do my best here. So let's take a look at the canvas. Their canvases are always so beautiful and clear, of course. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at her face. It's so beautiful. I always look for the highlighting and the contour is always something I look for when there's a person in the artwork. I just, I don't know. I always look to see how it's done. And on this picture, I can tell it looks really nice the way the highlighting and contour is done in her face. That looks really pretty. I love that the roses are kind of the same colors that are in her hair. So it all really like blends together nicely. You can see the moths are just absolutely beautiful colors. I'm just so looking forward to to painting this one. I think that it's going to be much welcome after I do my <laughs> Christmas uh, painting that I'm working on to work on these flowers and moths is going to be so nice. Let's take a look down here at these, the flowers and the moths down here. So pretty. Of course, with all the, you know, the diamond art club, oops, sorry, I'm banging into the camera here. Um, they have such nice big legends on the side here to follow along with. It's so pretty. So let's take a look at the drills and we'll find where the AB drills go. This is really pretty. The colors are just so beautiful. I apologize for the crinkling noise here. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. <laughs> Let me make sure that I have this in focus here. Just kind of take a look at all the colors. Okay, so here's a special drill here. This one is L310. So it's a 310, but I think it's a 
um, what did they call it on the website? Like illuminating or, um, I'll have to look it up and I'll put the word in like maybe, uh, gosh, the word is escaping me. Um, but I will put the word in <laughs> when I go back and look on the website, like luminous, maybe like luminous type drills. Um, they look almost like crystal rhinestones, but not quite. They're a little bit different, and I don't know if you can really tell on my camera here. Let me hold them up a little bit closer. They have like the silver back on them, like a crystal rhinestone, but they're not quite as um, translucent as crystal uh, rhinestones are, I feel like. So, okay, let's look at the next strip here. That's a beautiful color green. Lots of beautiful colors in this set with all the reds and pinks and then just the contrast with, you know, the blue and the yellow, it's going to be so pretty. Okay, here's those a, B, or Aurora Borealis drills I was talking about. See how it's got that different coating on it compared to like the one before it? Does not have that coating. So they just shine a little bit differently, a little bit brighter than the others. And so it makes a nice contrast on the canvas once you have them on there. These moth, mauve, not moth colors, mauve colors are so pretty. <laughs> Gorgeous. Here's another AD, this really pretty blue color. So these are going to be in the butterfly. What number or letter is this? This is 140, so it's three. So let's find where it's going to be on here. Three. Yeah, it's going to be in the butterfly wings here. Not butterfly, moth. Moth wings. And then the other one was yellow, so that is also going to be in the moth wings. That one is going to be, that's a number two. So yeah, just kind of scattered throughout the moth wings. That's going to be really pretty. And then, so those... The luminous 310s are the letter L on here, and those are kind of like they're in the moth wings, but then they are also, let's see, I thought I saw them in the background as well. Maybe not. Maybe they're just in the moth wings. Okay. Let's see what other colors we've got here. The color palette for this whole painting is just right up my alley. It's not, it, there's so many beautiful colors, but um, I mean, I just love all of them. And it's not too bright or overdone. It's just gorgeous. Okay, let's move these to the side. We'll look at the next strip. So this was 37 total colors. Let's start from this end here, I think. Maybe not. Get it turned away <laughs> around the right way here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It's a beautiful red color here. So there's some regular 310s. So I think these are what are, is going to be in the background. And Oh, this pink sort of salmon or a color, coral color is really, really pretty. Here's our other AB 103. So where is that going to be? 103 is the number one. And this is going to be throughout the roses. Is it in her hair as well? Yes. So in her hair and throughout the roses as well. How pretty is that going to be? Nice big bag of these pinky red 
ABs. That's just going to be really gorgeous. And I love that it's just strands of her hair and then also into the roses here. It's going to be so pretty. Can I just start working on this one now, <laughs> please? <laughs> I guess I could, there's no rules here, <laughs> but I do want to get my Christmas painting done first. So this maroon color is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> This color is so nice. This one, it almost is black, but it's more on maybe the brown side of black or I'd maybe, I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, it's more on the brown side, but it's very dark, 3371. Some more pinky colors. I just love this corally salmon color. Beautiful green there. Just a couple more. Alrighty. So we ran through the colors. They're going to be absolutely gorgeous. I love um, just the whole color palette for this is really pretty. And I'm excited to start working on this. I'm excited about the special drills. So I will find the word um, for this one that is kind of like a rhinestone. I'm pretty sure it was luminous or something like that. Um, so I will find the word for that. <laughs> But yes, this is Lady Moth, and I cannot wait to start working on this. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Lots of confetti, obviously, very confetti heavy. Really no color blocking except for, I guess, her face. Um, but otherwise, it's very confetti heavy. And I like, there's lots of lines, which uh, if you've seen my other DAC video, you know that I talk about how I like the lines. <laughs> so there's a lot of lines to do in this one, which makes me happy. So absolutely beautiful. Again, this one is called Lady Moth and it is by Sarah Rector. And it, um, I will have to look and see if it is still available on Diamond Art Club. I believe yesterday on Saturday when I was looking at the new releases, it was still available. But I will double check, but I will link it below anyway, because even if it is not currently in stock, there will oftentimes be a chance to, you know, you can put your email in and be alerted when it's back in stock, that type of thing. So I am still waiting for two more pictures that I did order from Black Friday, and it appears that they've shipped, but they're just sitting in a FedEx um, hub somewhere. So I'm a little bit nervous because they haven't moved <laughs> since December 3rd and there are two pictures that are now out of stock. So I really hope they just move <laughs> and get to me um, so that I don't have to mess with it, but we'll see. So anyway, let me know what you think. Did anybody else order this one or planning to order this one? I think it's definitely a beautiful picture if this is the art style that you are into. Um, and I just, I can't wait to get started on it. It's so beautiful. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.